Hey guys, it's Lisa. I just wanted to talk to you quickly about skinnies and my excitement for them. I have personally tried them and I absolutely love them. You guys, this product goes on like butter. Um, they are so easy to apply. We don't need a heater. We don't need scissors. We just need the nail um, file that comes in the package. So I know that on the team page, I have definitely posted um, do not market these until we know a little bit about the strategy behind the marketing. And that's what I want to talk to you about. What Jamboree wants to do as a company with the skinnies is we want to open a door to a completely different demographic. These are not necessarily for the customers that we have today. Because the customers that we have today, they love the fact that our nail reps last for 7 to 10 days. They love that they can get two um, manis or petty per application. That's a different demographic than what Skinny's is made for. Skinny's is, is really, we want to go after the client that can't wear them seven to 10 days. We, um, you know, your Starbucks girls, your nurses, your yoga teachers, the people that are told that they can't have the nail art, the people that really just maybe want to have them on for a Friday night. She wants fun nail art, but yet on her normal job, nine to five, she doesn't want to have the wraps on. So I want you to begin to think of a completely different demographic. And I also want you to think outside of the box of the customers that you have now. So with that being said, that is one of the reasons why Jamboree is going to teach us how to market these completely different. I want you to think of a, pair, a company that's out there right now, and that company is LipSense. Most of you know what LipSense is. It's a great lipstick that goes on and lasts long and has a gloss, although ours is better. But I just want you to think of LipSense. And I want you to think about like 10 years ago even 15 or 20 years ago. Did you know LipSense was out? No, but the thing about it is LipSense is a part of a company that's called Senegene. Senegene has been around for 25 years and LipSense has always been one of their products. As a matter of fact, I remember seeing this like 15 years ago and trying it at a vendor event when I was in another company. But Senegene started really building lip sense and started bringing on consultants and it, they brought on a whole different demographic of people because of their one product. They never advertise lip sense as Senegenes. But what they do do is once you're, in, you know, once you're a consultant or you're a product of the Senegenes or of, excuse me, of lip sense, then you learn about all their other products. But they didn't go after those those customers, they went after a new demographic. So think of how successful LipSense is. I want you to think about that when you're looking at skinnies and how exciting that they are. So we really want this to be a product of its own. Colette and corporate does not want us promoting it with Jamberry. If you look at their fan page, you don't see the word Jamberry. Here's why. We're not trying to be tricky, but this is what we're what what we're trying to go after, and how we want this to help build your build you in your business is again the clients that we have now. They love the fact that Jamboree lasts for seven to ten days. We also, as we know, have clients or people have said, "Oh, Jamboree doesn't work for me." Oh, I tried those. Nope, they were too complicated. Oh. I don't like to say this word, but oh, they damaged my nail. Let's they think they did, but it didn't. Right? There's a stigma. That can come sometimes with Jamberry. And if we market these with Jamberry, we are not going to get that new client that we want. We need to go after a different demographic. It's a good thing, right? Because we have our current clients and we have our new clients that we're going for. Skinnies are not better than our real nail reps that we have now. They're not worse than our nail reps that we have now. They are different. They are a different product that Jamboree is putting out for us under the name Skinnies. And that is something that I really want you to understand because we have to think that way when we are marketing these. Now, I want you to think of the way that you market Jamboree now. And I do the same thing now. And so this is going to be a learning curve for me also. But together we can do this. 
So right now we'll say, hey, Jamboree has this great new product. It's our lip product or look at our project in, um, indulgence. And it's Jamboree, Jamboree, Jamboree with product, with product, with product. That's called push, 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 push advertising. Corporate wants us to pull, pull advertising. And what that means is going about it in a different way. Number one, we are not going to mention the word Jamboree. That is not going to be in any of our hashtags. It's not going to be in any of our posts. And you will not see that from me. And if you do send me a message and say, girl, you put the word Jamboree in there because I'm going to, I personally have to learn how to do this too. So we're going to learn this together. But I want you to think about ways that we could promote this without using the word Jamboree. So maybe we say something like, Oh, I love the fact that I got 14, day, 14 days out of my fabulous sparkle nail wraps, but I just found a new product that I put on in 30 seconds and it works for the weekend. I, You know, I just found a product that I can do in the car and it lasts on a Friday night, right? Um, on my way out, girls night, forgot to do my nails, stopped and did them in 30 seconds. Just different things that talk about the product but doesn't say the word Jamboree in different marketing, different things that we're going after. Why do I want to mention that? Because if we continue to market this new product the same way that we've been marketing Jamboree, and we're not making a pull, we're not making them intrigued, we're not making them wonder what it is. I hope somebody says to me, Lisa, what, did you join a new company? No, right? I want them to even think that maybe, well, maybe not, but you know what I'm saying? Like I want them to be intrigued on what I'm doing. So as a company, we have to together say, we're not just going to say Jamboree, Jamboree, Jamboree. All right. I want to talk to you also about the fact that you have to have an open mind when it comes to the designs of the skinnies. Now, there's been a lot of research and Jamboree has done a lot of um, research marketing when it comes to the on-trend designs of the skinnies, especially corporate. I mean, Colette, she spent a lot of time on this. This, These designs are the most on-trend designs in nail art. Now, if you're like me and you live in Becker, Minnesota, I'm not necessarily out looking at the most on-trend demanding nail art that there is, but I want you to hashtag a couple things. Hashtag the word minimal nail art, minimal nail designs, hashtag nail designs, hashtag all of these different um, categories instead of the word Jamboree, because when we hashtag Jamboree, the only people we're attracting is Jamboree consultants, because we're the only ones that use this. Here's something else that you could do. Make a post on your Facebook page that said, if you had no idea what Jamboree was, what hashtag would you, or what words would you look for to find Jamboree? Nail art, nail art stickers, things like that. So we're thinking outside of the box for our skinnies when it comes to the certain hashtags that we're using. Um, and that's why, that's what I really want you um, to think about when it comes to that. So minimal nails. Minimal nail designs, Google that word, nail art, beauty, all of those types of things. If your Instagram um, account is Jam and Julie's Loves Jamboree, Jam It, <laughs> that's what Colette says, we're not going to want to post it from that. Maybe we start another Instagram account that's just about you and your family and you're throwing in some of your um, skinnies and you're hashtagging about that. We want to get in front of as many new people as we can. If we continue to go after and market the same people and market the same way, we aren't going to find those new clients. So a couple other things really quick is that um, Colette kind of has five marketing rules for us. And number one, don't talk Jamboree. Don't hashtag Jamboree. I've said that over and over and over, right? We want to not use that word. So don't use Jamboree when you're marketing skinnies. If your Instagram is all about Jamboree, let's start a new one. Okay, I'll help you with that. Um, number three, seeing is believing. All right, so this, this is one that might be new for us. This is a product that I want you to order. I don't push inventory on you. It's just not the type of leader that I am, but I'm pushing this, okay? 
You need to see it to believe it. You need to try it and you need your application to be spot on. So you need to practice. It doesn't take a lot. It's a very, very easy application, but I want you to order it. Okay. I'm just flat out saying that because even Colette says seeing is believing. And then we are going after this new market and we're going after new customers and we're in the nurse, nurse's doctor's office and we want to have it on because we're talking to them about it. So I want you to order the product and try it because believe me, seeing is believing because I have tested it. You have to try it. I know that a lot of consultants are just going to start blasting skinnies everywhere. But what I'm challenging our team to do, if you're watching this video, I'm challenging you to order a set of the skinnies Try them yourself, go live with your application, make your own videos, and post pictures of your own hands with the skinnies. I'm challenging you to do that. I want us to use Jamberry's marketing, but I want you to order a set and I want you to try them because it's just one of those things. It's like when you go to, to conference. Those of you that have gone to conference, I can tell you all about conference. I can tell you how fabulous it is, but until you experience it, you are not going to know the true love and joy of Jamberry and conference until you're there and skinnies is the same way. So um, flat out, seeing is believing. I want you to order it. I also want you to understand, and this is from Colette too, understand the trends, put aside your differences when it comes to them. If you see the designs are eyelashes, if that's not something that you would normally wear, I need you to have an open mind and put aside those differences because here's the deal. Those are the number one trend right now. Colette is spot on. And we want to attract those people and those trends. So you need to personally have an open mind. Um, I have the lip, the lips on right now, and I normally don't wear neutral colors. So I embrace it. I put on neutral. I'm usually an all red girl. Okay. So I'm, I'm embracing it. I want you to be the same way with the skinnies and the designs. I already know some of you might be like, wow, the designs are just, they're kind of out there. Yeah, but they're on trend. And they're new customers that we want. So you need to understand the trend. I want you to go and Google on-trend nails, trendiest nail designs, current nail designs, top 10 nail designs of 2017. On the fan page, Jamberry is showing you some of those. And we have those awesome designs in the skinnies. And number five, get in front of new people. Okay, I've said that over and over and over again. If you keep doing what you're doing now and you keep advertising the same way you do now and you keep promoting skinnies the way that you're doing now, but I'll be on you if you do, because we're together, we're going to learn this. You're not going to control. Um, <laughs> you're not going to attract different clientele. Okay. You are going to be reaching out to the same exact people and that's not who we want. We're going to do some Instagram training. We're going to do some social media training. We're going to talk about how to reach those other people. We're going to rock this. Okay, so I was going to go live on a few different um, team pages, and I just decided to make this video and ramble on and on and on about it. I want you to know that I love, love, love the skinnies. Oh, the packaging. The packaging is super cool. The packaging comes in a square. Um, let me get my notes for that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, oh, they come with their, it comes with the nail file. I told you that 17 skinnies come in it. Super, super cool package. Um, you want to carry them in your purse. So like, let's say your girlfriend says, oh, I love your nails and you can do it right there. You can apply a nail on her in 10 seconds because remember no heater, no scissors, no anything. It's literally, you put them on your file and you're done. So we're going to carry them with us. We're going to be armed and ready with our skinnies. All right, so that's just um, rambling of training. Corporate is going to do a lot. Those are my visions that I have for the team. Those are my thoughts behind skinnies, and I just can't wait for you to embrace it. All right, talk to you later. Bye.